into my Boohoo maternity haul. So I received this parcel last week and I have not opened it at all. I know exactly what's inside but I've not seen what anything looks like and I've not tried anything on. So this parcel has been sat on my bedroom floor waiting for me to film this video. So I'm super excited to be filming this today because ever since I've been pregnant or even before I got pregnant, I could not wait to film a maternity haul. I've never tried any actual maternity clothes on. So this is my first lot of maternity clothes. So these clothes are more holiday based because I'm going to Dubai in two weeks. There's a few things that I could wear in sort of spring or like winter spring time but most of the things are something that I can take on holiday. So I'm just literally going to jump straight into the video. I'm just going to undo the parcel. Lots of goodies in there. So everything that I have bought I will either leave a link below in the description box or I will find something so that you can buy it. So I'm going to show you what I've got and then I'm going to try it all. So first thing I've got is this leopard print swing play suit. So this is a size 8 and I thought this would look lovely just round the pool, you know, throw it over my bikini, throw it over my swing costume or even just if we're going out for some lunch for the day. So this is the play suit. So this is the leopard print play suit on. It actually looks really, really nice. It fits really nice. You can just slightly see my bump. I think around the pool on holiday, or even just if we go out for the day quickly and I just need to throw something on, I actually think it looks really nice. It fits really nice. I just need to find a strapless bra. But I'm actually really happy with this one and I will definitely be keeping it. Next up we have the an oversized t-shirt and lounge short set. So I'm super excited to try this one on. I think it would be the perfect airport outfit. Maybe not in March but I am going away again in May so I'll probably wear this in Dubai and then I might wear it as my airport outfit. So we've got the stone coloured shorts. And then the matching t-shirt set. So this was in a size 10. So I'll just try it on now for you and see what it looks like. I have got a feeling it might be a little bit too big. But we will just see what it looks like. So this is the two-piece cycling shorts and top in stone colour. And again, I'm actually really happy with these. I thought because they were size 10, it would be a little bit too big. But I think something like this actually looks a little bit better when it's less fitted. I expect like the cycling shorts fit perfect, fit nice on my bum, nice on my bum. And then I like the fact that the t-shirt is just quite baggy. I also think this is something I could wear when maybe I'm actually not pregnant or I could definitely still get away with the t-shirt anyway as it's a straight t-shirt, there's no sort of shape to it, it's just obviously because it's big it fits over my bump, but I'll definitely be also keeping this set, so so far so good, definitely a great airport outfit and something that I think in the summer I'll get a lot of wear out of, especially because I'm going to be very heavily pregnant throughout like May, June, July, so hopefully this will come in handy. And it's definitely coming to Dubai with me and I think it'll definitely be coming on my next holiday as well. Do you know, I can't remember half the stuff that I actually ordered. Got quite a lot though, it was very discounted. Next we have a sand like button tied dress. So it's like a midi dress and then it's got like a little tie waist across the front. I have actually seen quite a few people wear this and it does look lovely. I'm planning on going out on Saturday night so this is probably something that I will wear and I might wear it in Dubai on an evening because it won't be too hot hopefully. So I will take it with me but it is more sort of winter, spring. It's not that holiday-ish but we'll see how it sort of fits and how it feels. So this is the midi dress and this also fits really, really nice. I don't think I am actually big enough for to be properly fitting it. But hopefully by Saturday or even when I'm in Dubai, hopefully I will just fill it out a little bit more. I think it's got a lot more room here to give. But 
I bless it, love it, keeping this as well. I think it's really flattering. Fits nice here, fits my bump nice. And then it's just a little bit of a gap here, but I think it's because it needs to stretch more. So that will fit lovely as well. Fits nice around my bum. I am very happy with this item and I will definitely be keeping this as part of my boohoo haul as well. Next I have, I've got a lot of nude and sand coloured clothing in this bag. This is definitely something that I will wear in Dubai during the day. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. It feels a bit big though. Oh my god, that is quite huge. So this is a bodycon dress with like two little stripes down the side again i've seen a lot of people wearing this but it is actually quite big it's a size 10 because they didn't have an 8 but i actually do have a feeling that it's going to be far too big so i will try it on and see what it looks like but i was actually really excited for this one because i just think on holiday with a pair of sliders or a pair of like nike trainers it will look really really good but i actually just think it's going to be huge so let's see what it looks like so this is the Racing Stripe Maternity Midi Dress and this is, was the size 10 and it is actually just far too big, like it's really really baggy. I don't even think if I grew into it, it would look that great because I don't need, I'm not going to be putting on much weight here or here, hopefully it will all be here. So this will be going back, I might get it in the black if they've got it in size 8 but if not then it is just going to be going back and I will not be wearing it. But I did actually really like this and I like the look of it with like trainers or sliders or something on holiday. I've seen quite a lot of girls wearing it on holiday and I thought it looked really nice. But unfortunately, out of my size, so some stuff that's a 10 fits fine. But this, unfortunately, is just far too big. So next we have some pyjamas, which I'm super excited about. I love a pair of pyjamas and I thought... I needed a pair for my holiday that I can just chill in on the balcony like before we're going out and getting ready on an evening or just in a morning. I know Josh is going to be going to the gym so I just thought if I could shove some pyjamas on, sit on the balcony, read my book, you know, just chill out. Wanted something quite sexy but obviously comfortable as well so I've gone for this leopard print like button up top and then matching pyjama shorts. So I've got these in a 10 because obviously I don't like tight fitting pyjamas. I think pyjamas do actually need to be quite baggy. So these actually do look like quite a good size. I don't think that I am big enough bump wise yet to actually maybe get away with maternity wear. But maybe the tight fitting stuff I am. So we'll try it on now and see how they fit. So these are the maternity pyjamas and they're actually really, really cute. I really like them. So they are quite big because obviously they wear in a size 10, but I wouldn't want them much tighter. Obviously my bump's going to be getting a lot bigger than this. And then even the top, obviously I've got a lot of room to grow. So like I said before earlier in the video, I think that I'm not probably big enough to actually be wearing maternity clothes yet. So I've definitely got a lot of room in these and I don't feel like they're too big at all. I just think they're nice, nice and loose, nice and comfortable and even something that I could wear when I go into labour when I've got to obviously like have pyjamas on and stuff until I fully start pushing because obviously it's going to be July or August so I think they would be the perfect pyjama to wear in hospital when I'm going to be absolutely boiling hot. So I'll definitely be keeping these. I think they're just really smart really cute and my camera doesn't go back enough <laughs> hopefully you can see but yeah definitely keeping these obviously being pregnant is not that sexy sometimes because you do have to wear like frumpy clothes but i thought if i bought some leopard print pyjamas it's still better than wearing pyjamas with cookie monster all over Last my item in my bag of goodies these maternity joggers so these are stone again i think the only thing i haven't got in stone is the leopard print pajamas because they're quite deep brown but even the leopard print play suit is quite stony so i got these in a size 10 as well and i do think they're going to be far too big but they didn't have an eight so we'll see what they look like so I thought these would be good for the airport as well. I could maybe wear these to the buy in the airport and then just shove like a jumper over the top and then when I land, take it off and I'll just have a t-shirt on. So these literally come right above the bump from what I could see on the model. To be fair, they don't look that long. I thought they were going to be like really, really long. So these are a size 10 
and they're a gorgeous colour, they're gorgeous material, they're nice and thick, they've got these like little pockets on the side, they're like cargo joggers, got a nice tight cuff at the bottom, so I will try these on and see what they look like, but I am not counting on these to be honest, I do just think they're going to make me look like a big baggy monster, but we'll see what I'm saying. So last but not least, I've got the maternity joggers on, please just ignore the fact that I've just got a bra on because... I don't have a top that I could just quickly shove on with these. I do, but it's downstairs and I ain't got time for that. So these, they do fit really nice. I just can't decide whether they're too big or not. So they are quite baggy, but they do fit over my bump quite nicely. And obviously I've got a lot of room to grow, so I don't know whether to keep them and just grow into them because they're not too long. Like I, I like it when there's a bit of bunch at the bottom of a pair of joggers. Especially if I'm, I've just got like sliders on and probably something that I'll be wearing in the summer when it's not too warm but I can just wear like a little top and then sliders or sandals or even trainers. So even though they feel a little bit too big and they wear a size 10, I know they didn't have a size 8. So I feel like I actually might keep them because they're not like the racer dress that I tried on which was clearly far too big. Like they are quite comfy. And I just, I feel like I definitely will grow into them. I've still got like another 22 weeks to go. So that is a long time of growing. Because everything that I bought was in the sale, I think they only ended up being like £10. So they're actually not that badly priced for a pair of joggers. But I'm really happy with today's haul. I think I've tried on some really nice stuff. I think I've definitely got room to grow in all of it, apart from the race back dress, which is definitely going back. And I think hopefully it will all look really, really nice on a holiday. Thank you so much for watching my Boohoo haul, guys. Hopefully I will be doing another one a little bit further down the line when I'm a bit more heavily pregnant. And I'm going away again in May for a little weekend for my friend's Hindu. So I'm hoping that Boohoo will bring out more summer clothes in their range because a lot of the stuff online at the minute is still quite wintry. And I know that they had it out last year because last year when I followed a lot of pregnant people, they actually had the same thing that I've got now so I'm hoping that they will bring out a new range and I can do a complete new haul for you guys please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video